Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. Now, it's been a lot of squad battles content on my channel for the start of FIFA 23, but I wanted to show you guys that I'm not one trick pony and I do play online as well. And I've been grinding division rivals. I'm up to division seven at the moment and I wanted to show you um, some online custom tactics that I've been using. It's still a very, very early stage, but a lot of you guys are just interested, okay? So I'm gonna show you my 4-3-1-2 tactics that I'm using. If you like them, great. If you don't, no worries. Move on to somebody else's tactics. Yeah, you know, at this stage, it's all about gathering information, uh, trying stuff out, testing it, and seeing what you like, to be quite honest. And that is what I will try and do on my channel. So I'll be using lots of different formations over the coming months and bringing those tactics to you, whether I like them, don't like them, or really like them, you know? Okay, so teams on screen. It's a little bit irrelevant at the moment because we're obviously at this early point. So it may be a few people won't fit the system perfectly but you know you'll get the idea okay let's get into it so <clears throat> the 4312 is quite an aggressive formation okay i know there's other formations out there at the moment are perceived as being really met up but i'm just old fashioned i've played a lot of fifas i just want to attack be on the front foot and if that means that i win eight out of ten games rather than nine out of ten i'm not fussed to be honest because i want to win the ball back quickly um, attack, 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 take the game by the scruff of the neck um, and enjoy it, really. Um, so that's what 4-3-1-2 does, in my opinion. So defensive style presser, pressure sorry, on heavy touch. I've actually, found, I've actually found that to be a little bit better this year than last year. I don't know if that's my imagination for it is. So we'll stick a pin in that and see at a later date whether that actually materialises. Uh, width. 45. I still like to push people out wide because they don't really seem comfortable in doing that. And they don't overly want to do that. And if they do, you know that all they really want to do is just cut it back. So you can be prepared for that. Um, defensive depth is quite a lot deeper than what I'd actually normally do. Although this is an attacking formation, you still, you still don't really lose the intensity. Um, normally with a quicker defense, um, I would have that pushed up a bit more. But also people are trying a lot of... Um, over the top through balls and stuff like that. So I just had it on 45 for the minute. Maybe that will change. It will probably definitely change in the coming months. But at the moment, that's what I'm playing it on. Uh, build up play, balanced. Last year I would have had that on fast build up play, but I just wanted to <clears throat> slow things down a little bit, still be able to go at a good pace, because of course 4 3 one, 2 is very um, attacking, but there's a fine line between attacking quickly and just being out of control. Okay, when I do coaching sessions, that's what I see. When I say to people, you need to speed up your attack, it ends up just going crazy and they're just losing the ball left, right and centre. You know, there is a fine line. And with the players that you're using at the moment, sometimes they can't cope technically with the ball to play at that kind of speed. You know, the passes and you're trying to turn quickly and play little intricate little balls. It's going to be quite tough, especially if you like on their weak foot and stuff like that, or they're under pressure or they're tired. But of course, stamina plays a part on like their accuracy and stuff like that. So I just took it, took it, took it down to balance, just to take our time just a little bit more in the right scenarios. Um, chance creation, direct passing. I really liked direct passing, and it um, obviously makes your players make decent runs for you. I do. I am going to try uh, forward runs out as well, um, because in my book they should do the same sort of thing. That's probably just FIFA dependent on how good each one is. But for the moment, I've got a direct passing. Uh, offensive width, 50, just no need to change that. Players in the box, um, seven, it's quite an attacking formation, so yeah, have it up high. Uh, corners, two, and free kicks, two from me. I play mine short, so I'm not too concerned about a counter-attack. Um, okay, dokes, on to player instructions. So the back four is all stay back while attacking, okay? So, normally with the full backs, I would be bombing on quite a lot. I have to be honest, I'm a little bit more reserved at the moment just because of the calibre of players that we're using and I'm very, very conscious of keeping like the setup of the team. So I am carrying the ball with the fullbacks a little bit, but if I compare it to say like the back end of last year, I'd be bombing on, just bombing on because their attacking stats would also be fantastic. But that's not where we're at at the moment. That's why I keep saying all the videos, the most important thing you can do is adapt to where we are in FIFA right now and the players that you have expectancy levels of the players that you're using. My fullbacks can defend, 
they're not so great at attacking. They're okay at dribbling the ball and carrying it, and that's what I do. I use them just to get up the pitch a little bit and then give it to the players that can play, okay? Right, into the midfield three. Um, so the central one is vital for your um, attacking play, okay? So I don't have them on stay back while attacking, because like I said, this is actually supposed to be an attacking formation. So I feel like I'm pushing the boundaries as much as we can at the moment. So I've got it on balanced, okay? And cover center. I must say that they do hold their position really well, that central player. And he is your um, pivot. He is your linchpin. He's also the one that will cover that, uh, the two center backs for you as well. At the moment, I've got Fred, um, but like, you know, it's the start of the game, isn't it? Okay, so the, the wider central midfielders, because that's what they are. This is why this is quite unique, because it's three central midfielders. So you're going to outnumber your opponent in the middle of the park, um, which is big, in my opinion. Uh, especially as you've got a cam as well. Um, I actually think it's a little bit more aggressive than the 4 one 2 one 2 in my opinion. But anyway, so you see here I've got Nunes from Wolves and Leon Bailey uh, from Villa. Now, you might think that I'd put Foden where Bailey is, but let me explain. So I've got Nunes here is much more of an all-rounder, okay? Now, I understand that, so I will try and use him a bit more for defending than what I would Bailey if I can. Um, and... I would not try as many things going forward as what I would with Bailey. That's understanding your players at this early point. I do have them on get forward because we really want them involved in the attack. That's the whole point of this formation. Um, and I also have them on cover centre. I like to crowd that middle of the pitch, win that central midfield battle, and then you can play from there, okay? And you know you've always got the fullbacks as an out ball, okay? Like I said, when I do coaching... That is where your out ball is if you're using this kind of formation, okay? That allows you to just take a breather and say, right, let's go from there. Um, Leon Bailey is still on get forward and cover centre, but with 4-3-1-2, what you'll find is that the left centre mid position and the right centre mid position, they make forward runs. Remember our direct passing technique? And they pierce through that little barrier between, say the full back and the centre back. So it'd go through there or through that side because you've just got them outnumbered because two centre backs are covering St uh, Sterling and Jesus. It means Foden's also free. And a lot of the time you can just burst through. And obviously Bailey's ideal for that kind of thing. He's left footed and he's able to hammer it in. Um, at Cam, got Foden, so just on stay forward. When I win the ball, I want to know that my forward line is up there ready to attack and pounce. Because a lot of the time we might have a three on two situation with the two centre backs. And that's why we want to have some decent pace up there, which takes us on to our front two. And that is where I've got Raheem the Dream Sterling. And as you can see, he is on getting behind. When I play two up front, it's old school. I am quite old school like that. And, you know, I do pay attention to FIFAs, but I still stick to my principles. I'll have one come short and I'll have one go long. That's. That's football for me. Um, so Sterling's obviously the one that will get in behind for me. And Jesus is the one that will just hold position. Okay? Um, so, yeah, guys, there we have it. That's the 4 3 one, two tactics that I'm using at the moment um, in Rivals. I've enjoyed it. I've won the majority of games. In fact, I've lost one. Um, so, yeah, give it a whirl. Let me know what you think. Get in the comments. Ask any questions that you like. Or tell me what formations that you're enjoying or something you want me to try out absolutely anything you want but guys that is it for today please drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys very very soon see you later guys bye bye